Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today we will talk about how we can take snapshot of a particular app server or API server, nothing but from the EC2 instance. Okay, guys. And then we'll show you how we can restore back from the snapshot. If you would like to create a EC2 instance, then we can create again back the app server or API server. Okay, guys. So this is basically use case if I talk about like if something happened like a disaster recovery, right? That purpose we can use and that disaster recovery, there are multiple approaches there. One is like uh, you can create a AMI from that uh, your app server and by using AMI, you can uh, recreate again your app server API server. And another approach is by using this snapshot, you can take the snapshot of the particular issue testers and then from the snapshot, you can restore back. Okay, guys. So by using that AMI, how we can restore EC2 instance, that's that session I have already talked about in my previous video. So if you guys not yet watch that, then I will request you guys can have a look. I will give that link to this video description so that it will helpful to you guys. Okay, guys. So let's go to the today's session. So today our agenda is how we can take the snapshot of a particular EC2 instance. So I have already running here one EC2 instance, which is running mode. And this is the cloud tech app server. Okay, guys. So if we take this issue twisters as a snapshot backup, then if you want to restore back, right? So then we need to verify whatever thing is there inside this issue twisters. Everything should be there. So let me first show you what basically it contains this issue twisters. Then we'll take snapshot of that particular issue twisters. I have logged in already by using mobile extreme here. So how we can log in by using mobile extreme? Then I have already demonstrated that video in my previous session, guys. So you guys can have a look that okay guys so let's show me what here i have already in this app server right basically i am running docker in one static application let me show you that so here docker is running right and if we check here like uh, docker images so docker images also there and if you check that curl command also localhost then uh, one a static web application is running, right? So if I take the snapshot of that particular issue to instance, then everything should be there while we will restore that. Okay, guys. So let me show you that also in web also, like what it is running here. So let's go to that. So one uh, one website is launched here in static website. So this is the website. So welcome to Cloud Tech Issue to App Server demo. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any video from our channel thank you so this is the message it's launched in this particular website so if you guys want to create your own application or a website by using this ec twister that also possible like this so this kind of video i have already demonstrated in my previous video so you guys can have a look that how we can create like a static web application by using ec twisters and whatever docker thing i am running here like how uh, we can create a docker image how we can install docker set up everything i have already demonstrated in my previous video so you guys can have a look that also okay guys now let's go to the today agenda how we can take the snapshot so let me show you that first so this is the easy to instance if you go to the storage section right if you go here storage so here we have one volume like EBS volume, right? So EBS volume. Now we're going to take a snapshot. So this EBS volume snapshot guys by using DLM and also it is possible by like it will be take automatically the backup for you on behalf of you. You no need to take manual backup. But today's session, I will show you the manually how we can take the backup and manually how we can launch that uh, or restore that particular issue to instance. Okay, guys. And if you want to see more about details like how we can take that uh, DLM kind of thing like automation automated backup thing then that video also I have already is demonstrated in my previous session you guys can have a look that also that link also I will keep in this video description so now let's go to this this is my app server which is running this uh, static web application so let's go to this volume which is attached to this particular issue instance so let's go to this EBS volume. This is EBS volume, which is actually storing our data, whatever uh, Docker or static web application we are running, right? That data is stored here in this volume. So what we are going to do is like, uh, let me give the name here. Okay. So let's take the back uh, like snapshot of this particular uh, volume, how we can take, let's click here and here we can have an option create snapshot. This is how we can create a EC2 instance snapshot. Let me show you that. So let's give that name here. Okay. 
and tag is the optional if you would like to give tag you can give tag or if you don't want you no need to give also okay so now there is no encryption available in this particular volume so that's why no encrypted thing is there so going forward i will show you how we can encrypt this kind of volume also by using kms okay guys so let's click on create now that snapshot is created in progress let me show you that if you go to the snapshot section right so this is the snapshot which is created now let's give the name something like that any name you can give now it is in pending state so until and unless it is coming up right we cannot do anything so it is going yeah now it is completed it will take few seconds so now our snapshot is ready whatever ec2 instance we have launched here so that ec2 instance snapshot is ready now our next agenda is like if you would like to uh, create a new ec2 instance from this snapshot how we can create there are multiple approach guys so let me show you that one by one so if you select this one so you can check that exact size all everything is here no kms id here since it is not encrypted and then you can check the permission also and store storage tire and tags if you have any tag also it will come here okay guys now let's go to the action here now here we have a different kind of option like create volume from the snapshot this is the one approach like if you uh, from this snapshot right i will create one more volume and that volume i will attach to that particular issue uh, whatever issue to instance you want to create right i will attach to there so if you attach there then everything will be there so that like without downtime, if you would like to attach that snapshot to a particular issue to instance, that video also I will create in my next session. How we can attach is uh, volume without any downtime particular issue to instance. That I will I have a plan to give that session also. And another option we have here like create image from the snapshot. Image is nothing but like AMI kind of thing. AMI what we have already created by using that EC2 instance in my previous session. Now we are going to create AMI from this snapshot and then by using that AMI, we are trying to launch EC2 instance. I will see all everything, whatever it is there in this volume, it will be there or not. Let's create that. So let's give the AMI name here. AMI, something like that. And description from something like that. Anything you can give description all as per your need and this is the volume uh, it is attaching here so let's keep everything default and create okay guys now this ami also in progress let me show you that so if you go here this ami section here we have ami section images right this is the images while we are creating new ec2 instance right that time let me show you that uh, whatever docker we have installed manually right it will it is not like that it will be by default it will be there so uh, we have to install manually right so that session i have already covered so now we have created here ami so let me show you that is ami is ready or not so if you go right now ami is available now we can able to use this ami so what we are going to do let me create one more ec2 instance let me show you that how we can launch by using that ami so take app server from snapshot okay now here this is the place we are now this is the ami which is provided by aws now we need click on my ami here and here we can see uh, whatever ami we have created right cloud tech app ami right so it is displaying here and if you click on browse also there also you can able to see my ami and then you can select that ami here so anything you can select okay guys so now it is selected here and let's keep if you would like to change the instance type during new app server while you are creating right if you want you can change since it is a demo purpose so i am going that t2 micro what is available in free tiers so guys keep in mind if you are in free tiers and you are practicing then always select that free tiers image otherwise it will be charge you for you so that part keep in mind otherwise unnecessary charge will come and to track that unnecessary charge like I have already demonstrated like billing part so how we can track the billing alert kind of thing so that you will get some notification that video also I have demonstrated you guys can have a look for your more details okay guys so 
Now I am going to select the key pair. If you would like to create a new key pair, you can create by just click one here. Then it will create for you. Okay, guys. So let's select the existing one. And then this is the place network selection like security group. You would like to create a new security group or you would like to have already security group that you want to utilize. So for this session, let's I have already created security group which is in my previous session. So let's use that one. So security group is kind of like a, a firewall kind of thing. It's a kind of protection to the particular issue to instance like uh, what kind of request has to be accepted, what kind of request has to go out, which port should be allowed and what is the protocol should allow those kind of thing we can define and if you need more details then please refer my security group video okay guys so now this is done here so let's launch the issue instance here rest i keep i everything i kept as it is so let's go to here now instance is two now let's go to it's not yet came running state so it will take some time if you see here it is in pending state it will take few seconds to come up here. So once it is come up, right, by using this issue to instance also, we should able to see this kind of web application, right? So now it is in up. So let's click on here first. Okay. So. Uh, so let me open this. change this to HTTP since it is in uh, see we are able to see this is how we can take the snapshot and we can restore back let me show you that whatever docker thing we are running right let me connect this particular issue to instance from the mobile strip so let me show you that select that ec2 user and then in a go click on advanced section and click on private key and here select that key what we have given to the particular issue to instance. Now click on new. Now let's see it is logged in here. Now if you go to the docker right docker ps right. See docker is there here. If you see just a minute it is taking time. See docker is there. If you check here docker it's not like that by default it will be there guys. So since I have created from the snapshot that's why it is there right. Let me show you one EC2 instance without uh, taking this kind of thing. Let me show you that so that it will be clear to you guys. It's not like that by default it is there. So let me show you that. Suppose demo. Okay. And I am going to use Amazon AMI. Okay. This time. So let's keep this one. And key pair also same key pair I am using here. And security group also I am selecting what I have existing. Okay. Now let's launch this EC2 instance and we'll see here no web application since we are in uh, deploy this EC2 instance from that Amazon provided image right not from the our snapshot right. So in this image this kind of static web application also should not be there and docker also should not be there. Let me show you that. So it is in pending state so it will take some few seconds. Now it is running state right so let's try to hit this one. Now let's connect meantime from this mobile extreme also. New session. Advance. Now I am going to connect. So it is connected now. Let's try to see Docker. PS or Docker image. See, Docker command is not. It's not like that by default it will be there on the EC2 instance. Since we have that setup, that's why while we are restoring that EC2 instance, then we are able to see, right? So this is how we can, if anything goes wrong, disaster recovery, right? So this is how we can uh, like uh, do the disaster recovery so that uh, your application will be in safe zone. Anything is goes wrong, then you will get back to your application. Okay, guys. So if this session will help uh, benefit to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys right I will request you guys please subscribe my channel and share with your friend and if you have any doubt while you are doing hands on and if you face any issue or error then put those error in this video comment section I will definitely address those okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye.